Okay, this is 5.4 day one. The assignment is uh, 2 through 30 evens. Um, this one is the first day, uh, obviously first day in 5.4. So we have a new formula sheet. These are called uh, product to sum and sum to product formulas. They look like this. So the first ones we're going to use um, are actually we're, we're going to derive these first. Um, here's a copy of all those formulas if you, if you lost your, um, your main packet of all the formulas, the first couple pages. Now deriving this means that we're going to use formulas that we already know in order to come up with a formula uh, that we need. So uh, basically from 5.3 we have, or I'm sorry, 5.2 we have some sum and difference formulas right here. So we already know that this is true and this is true. So interestingly enough what I'm going to do is I'm going to write these two down. I'm going to write this one first and then this one second. Now I'm going to use alphas and betas instead of um, x's and y's, but it will be those same two formulas that I just pointed out. So if I have the cosine of alpha minus beta equals, I'm writing down the whole formula here, cosine alpha times cosine beta plus sine alpha times sine of beta, and then I also write down the cosine of alpha plus beta, this is just another formula on the, off of that sheet, equals cosine alpha times cosine beta minus sine alpha times sine beta. What I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the bottom one from the top one. So what happens when I subtract on the left side here is I get this minus this. They don't actually match at all. There's no common commonality so that we could actually add them together. So I'll simply write it as two separate parts subtracting them. On the right what happens when I subtract here is this these two cancel out cosine alpha, cosine beta minus itself is nothing. When I minus here, I'm minusing a negative, so it's actually like a plus. So these two give me one sine alpha sine beta plus one sine alpha sine beta, which is two sine alpha sine beta. So then I'm going to rewrite this backwards so that the two sine alpha sine beta is on the left and cosine alpha minus beta minus cosine alpha plus beta is on the right. And now I'm going to divide everything by 2 just to get rid of this 2 here. So divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. Well, actually I could do the whole thing here. Um, which gives me sine of alpha times sine of beta equals, um, actually if I just divide this whole thing by 2 that's kind of what I should probably do. Just divide that whole thing which is totally legitimate. All right. Basically, if you're dividing something by 2, it's the same as multiplying it by 1 half. Alpha minus beta minus cosine of alpha plus beta, like that. So there you go. That is this formula up here. I've created this formula from other formulas that I know, simply by doing some subtracting and some dividing, and that's it. So that is one of our um, formulas that is called a product to sum formula. It's this one right here, the first one on the list. So you can see how these formulas can be just created from other things that we already know. I'm not going to do all of them, just the first one to show you how it can be done. Okay, so if I want to express these uh, as a sum or a difference, um, all I really have to do is say, hey, this is like the sine of something times the sine of something else. So you can see, perhaps, that the format of this matches the format of this. Do you see sine of A times sine of B would be this, basically? So that equals this, one half times the cosine of A, which would be 5x, minus B, which would be 2x minus the cosine of A, which again is 5x, plus B, which is 2x. So that cannot be simplified very much. It's just 1 half times the quantity cosine of 3x minus cosine of 7x. That's it. Now I've written it as a difference. It's no longer a product, it's a, it's a difference, meaning it's a subtracted expression. 
All right, same thing over here. I have the cosine of something times the cosine of something else, which, if you look at this list right here, matches the format of this one, cosine of A times cosine of B. So I'm going to write this side right now. I have that that equals 1 half times the cosine of A, which is 7x, minus B, which is regular x, plus the cosine of A plus B, so 7x plus x. So what is that? Well, that is 1 half times the cosine of 6x plus the cosine of 8x. And now I've written this, rather than as a product, a multiplication of two things, I'm, I've written it as a sum, an addition of two things. And then the last two examples are also very similar. Um, again, writing each as a sum, uh, uh, sum as a product, we're going back the other way. So you can see this one says sum two products, so we're actually changing it from something that's adding or subtracting to something that is a multiplication. So if you have the sign of something plus the sign of something else, that actually matches this one here, sine of A plus B. So now I'm going to rewrite this in this format instead. So that equals 2 times the sine of A plus B. This is A and this is B, so 7x plus 3x all over 2 times the cosine of, again, this is A and this is B, so 7x minus 3x all over 2. So all that is is just 2 times the sine of 10x divided by 2 times the cosine of 4x divided by 2, which is 2 times the sine of 5x times the cosine of 2x. I'm just dividing 10 by 2 and 4 by 2. And now it's a product. It's multiplying. So we change it from an addition to a multiplication. And then the last one, cosine um, of something plus cosine of something matches the format of the third one down right here in our sum to product formulas at the bottom of the page. So it's actually matching this one in format. So I'm going to copy this right side over like this. So this would be equal to two cosine of a plus b over two. So that would be, this is a and that's b. So three x plus two x over two times the cosine of a minus b, so 3x minus 2x over 2. So that gives me 2 times the cosine of 5x over 2 times the cosine of x over 2. None of this can be simplified any further because it can't divide. And there you go.